The hardest part I realized immediately was the, the sense of isolation, which is that you felt kind of cut off from your peers, or at least I did. It felt to me as though everyone was doing it and somehow I was caught. There was like a, a, per a persistence of a stigma in a way too, which is that like, do I want people to know this about me? Isn't it kind of embarrassing? It felt somehow embarrassing to be caught, to be named in the newspaper, to be kind of the victim of this. Half the people that I would talk to about it would ask me, you know, what should I do? But on one hand, I wanted to tell them, you know, hey, be, be safe. Like, you probably don't want to do it. But on the other hand, I had a very different reaction. I didn't want to help an organization that it hurt me. I was supposed to kind of like infect the mentality that file sharing is okay with this antivirus of no, it's not okay, it's dangerous. And I kind of ultimately decided to try to go somewhere between those two paths. I eventually started telling almost everybody I knew. You know, people would say something to me like, how you doing man, how's life been? And I'm like, pretty bad. I got sued by the RIAA. And their, you know, their reaction would usually just be like, whoa, whoa, dude. Before I was sued by the RIA, I never interrogated what I was doing really. There was, it, was unre it was an activity that was largely unreflected upon. And as, when this was going down, I remember thinking, wow, I did something wrong. And I still believe that I did something wrong. Like, I didn't have a right to take that music. What's just dangerous here is that there's a voice of establishment speaking down on you, which is reigning a morality of, this is right and this is wrong, you don't own this, you can't take it, you can't make with it. And when you read these articles in Wired Magazine, New York Times, um, you know, major news sources about the music industry losing money, I'm shocked that they can't see the obviousness of, we alienated the most like lucrative consumer pool, being teens and young adults. And when you alienate your primary consumer pool, it's hard to both get them to buy the Britney Spears album while you're busting them for downloading the Britney Spears album, you know, and I think that these things need to be, be rectified. <laughs>